the papers are covering should Cressida Dick resign, what's happening with the, um, um, how, the recruitment process of police officers, and that's my starting point for today. I think we've been let down as women. Um, Theresa May, when she was Home Secretary, she brought in the ability for the police and the Met in particular to expand the recruitment process, and that was outsourced for over five years. And I think that is where the, the problems are now beginning. Priti Patel this morning says, yes, I agree, they're not low-level crimes. Well, they're not, mm. no Sherlock. But, you know, we need to... Uh, she's also a woman, obviously. Then Cressida Dick. I think that the irony is we have been let down by these three very powerful women who have actually enabled cousins to get away with what he got away with, which is disgusting. Mm. And John Stevens, the ex-Met um, Commissioner, said the vetting process for serving police officers is not fit for purpose and must be immediately overhauled. And I do, I do agree, because that's the grassroots level of entry level of the police force. Mm. However, on the flip side, I do think this is a complete isolated event. I don't think we should... I don't think it's healthy at all to question police in the way the Met have advised women to question police when they approach them. I think it's foolhardly. I think we should need... We, we need more officers on the beat. They should be in twos. When I was growing up, they were always in twos in the cop cars, on the beat. Mm. It, the, the presence was always in twos. And that also would help with... Um, you know, against fraud, against duplicity, against covering things up, because hopefully you would have two outstanding, upstanding members of society who are kind, who are supportive, who are there to diffuse situations and implement law and order. It's interesting, Boris Johnson has come out in support of Cressida Dick, hasn't he? He said yes. he worked with her when he For was years. mayor of London and he has confidence in her. She's um, bringing in immediate changes, including um, undercover police officers going out in two. So that tackles the problem of the Wayne Cousins scenario. But extraordinary, and I completely agree with you, to hear the policing minister yesterday saying women should call 999 <laughs> if they're approached by an officer to or, check or, their... Or held flag on a, a bus. bus. <laughs> flag a bus. I mean, it's hard enough to catch a bus as it is. As it is. Yes. Um, but, you know, it, it, it's a real problem, and I find it really upsetting um, that, we, you know, we just did an interview a few moments ago with yes. somebody saying, well, we're not perfect, but we're better than we were. Well, no, it's, I actually think there needs to be a bit more humility and yes. an, an acknowledgement mm. that there is still misogyny within the police force. Yes, mm. absolutely. I'm with you 100%. However, we need to teach our children. We need to be members of uplifting members of society that can underpin law and order. It's crucial that there is respect for the police yeah. force. Mm. But it's, I'm afraid it's being undermined wholeheartedly by themselves. Mm. I think what was so scary for me, especially with the Sarah Everard case, is that could have been any of us. If I was walking through a park Ellie, in, absolutely in right. last, last yeah. March and a police officer pulled me aside yep. with a badge yep. and said, you've been out seeing a friend, you're arrested, get in this car, I 100% would have got well, in that car. what do you say then I respect to, the police. to Phil, yes. Phil Allott, who would say to you, oh, well, you ought to have better knowledge of, of the law. I mean, quite frankly, I consider myself quite up to speed with COVID yep. rules, with the law, the legal process. I would have got into that car. I would have done exactly the same mm. as Sarah, Sarah Everett. Everett had and not got yeah. a chance. She did she not, did do not have a chance. Wrong. And it is a very harrowing, um, isolated event. And I don't think we should tarnish the whole police force with this because it is awful. However, they are in a position of responsibility. We, they are public servants there to serve. And there really has to be massive repercussions mm. that could very well start with the resignation of Cressida Dick. And just on Phil Allott, because I'm particularly interested in this, he has completely apologised and retracted those comments he made yesterday. Does that go far enough for you? Or do you think no. that there's no way he can really credibly stay in that position? He cannot he credibly. Mm. And I'm not into cancel culture, as you know. Mm. But this is such a serious, serious issue that there has to be massive ramifications. And that, again, with the resignation of Cressida Dick, is what I think we have to have, but also um, with, with Alet in Yorkshire. Mm. OK, I think I agree with you on that.